Today's video is a very scary one. We had to rush two of my animals to the vet. Right here, it doesn't look like much. It's definitely a little bit swollen. And here he is. So you can see the little tortoise is walking great where this guy is kind of just kind of dragging himself. You can see he's got that slight little limp. So, all right, buddy, we got to go to the vet and we got to get you checked out. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today's video is a very scary one. We had to rush two of my animals to the vet. We had to take my Galapagos tortoise who has a possible broken leg. If you guys saw this video a couple days ago, it was actually last week, you will know that our tortoise has a possible broken leg, so we took him to the vet. We did x-rays. We are finding out what's going on with him. Well, not finding out. We got to the bottom of it. So if you guys want to know what's up with him, stick along. And Zeno, my male Lewis Eye hybrid, you know, the, the one that bit me a couple years ago, the one that I have a really crazy past with, well, he decided to attack his girlfriend. He bit her. She had to go to the vet as well. So guys, if you want to know how she's doing, you want to know how the tortoise is, how's the lizard, how's the tortoise? Well, guys, there's only one way to find out, and that's by coming along on today's adventure. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. It is the morning time, and we are getting ready to take our Galapagos tortoise to the vet. We've got our bin ready for our tortoise because as you guys know uh, we got to get him x-rayed we got to check him out so we did an exam yesterday and he was definitely not using his leg too well so we've got our bin here so we're just gonna probably honestly have to bring this bin in here we got it full of hay and we've already checked to make sure that he's gonna fit in there so we've got our bin in here and we've got our tortoise over in the house. And here he is. So you can see the little tortoise is walking great where this guy is kind of just kind of dragging himself. You can see he's got that slight little limp. So, all right, buddy, we got to go to the vet and we got to get you checked out. All right, Cliff, you ready? Uh, I think so. All right, well, let's, let's lift him up. He's got a 150 to 200 pound boulder. He doesn't look like it, but we got him loaded. We're walking over. Now we're just going to watch where you step. We don't want to step in any holes. We don't want to step in anything. So you're going to lift on over, step over. All right, now let's load him in the bin right here. So we want it to be nice and gentle. We've got a nice cushion of hay. Now the bin just kind of fits him. It's a, just big enough to where he fits in it, but not too big to where he can move around a lot and try and get out. So we got our big giant tortoise loaded in and we're taking these monsters. We're taking Tori and we're taking Coda as well. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. We're lifting him in, we're loading him, now we're just gonna get him right here on this lip, and we're gonna get him right here. We're just gonna kind of slide him on in the back right here. It's gonna be a tight fit with all the dogs and the tortoise, but we can't really fit this in the truck, so uh, this is what we're gonna have to do. All right, guys, up, 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 load up, load up, load up, up. let's up, go. Up. Go, 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 we go. gotta go, we got one dog, we got two dogs, we got a big tortoise. We got the dogs loaded, now watch your hands and your feet and we are loaded in and ready to go. Okay, so we just made it to the vet office and we are waiting for Dr. Torres to come in. And we got the tortoise loaded up on this nice cart with wheels so we were able to easily get her inside of the office. But this girl has no idea we're trying to help her out, but thankfully she's being a good sport about it. So right now we're just carrying the tortoise to the back to actually get x-ray because that is what we have to do to determine whether this tortoise has a broken leg or not. That would be worst case scenario here. We don't want that to happen because there there's really not much you can do if a tortoise has a broken leg um, besides really just giving it antibiotics, giving it pain medication because you can't really cast their legs. But guys, we're going to find out in just a second. So we're getting the tortoise and we're lifting her up on the table. This tortoise is seriously heavy. She weighs 100 pounds. I thought she was like 100, 150, so she's 100 pounds. So right now what we're gonna be doing is actually trying to draw blood from the tortoise because we're gonna do a blood test to see how the organs are functioning. The blood work is gonna give us a baseline here. And I'm honestly really impressed. Dr. Torres got this on the first draw. A lot of times tortoises can be tricky to get blood work. Sometimes you have to try five, six, 10 different times, but he got it on the first try, which was, that was impressive. Good job, doc. So right Right now we just did that blood work and we are getting ready to do our x-rays. So we did our x-rays, Doc is reviewing them, and we are back in the waiting room. So this girl was an incredible sport about all this. The next morning. All right guys, another day and another vet visit. So today's vet visit is involving Xena, my Lewis Eye hybrid iguana right over here. Xena actually lives with Zeno, and as you guys know, Zeno and I have a long history of him 
being a little bit of aggressive. It's actually the only animal that's ever caused me to have stitches. So Zeno bit me right here. If you saw that video there, you will know that Zeno bit me years ago. And today he has decided to bite his girlfriend. And now this is not the first time he's done that. He did that when I actually first got them, and this is the picture right here on the screen. Zeno actually bit her when we were transporting him from my friend's house to my house when I first got them. So she was on bed rest for six weeks, and yesterday when Zeno was trying to breed her, he actually sliced her open. Now, typically these rock iguanas are actually incredibly tough, but this is a decent little cut, a decent little slice that could use some stitches. But luckily, it's just on the skin. It didn't go down to the muscle. It didn't go down to any tendons. So we're gonna get her out. We're gonna load her into the bin and we are gonna head over to the vet, back over to Dr. Torres. He's gonna get her stitched up and hopefully well. So right now, we've gotta get in here and we've gotta load her up. Now, Zeno might be a little fired up, but good thing is it's pretty early in the morning. So we shouldn't really have any issues with Zeno being aggressive. I mean, sometimes he's literally waiting at the door trying to charge you. So we definitely don't want that to be happening today but this is how we're going to be transporting her to the vet office we got a nice bin we do have a little mulch now because the wound is really high up on her laterals up on the top of her body we really don't have to worry about the mulch getting in her skin um, and when we get to the vet they're going to fully do a deep scrub on it so we're going to come over here to my pretty girl Zena. i want to say hi to mr Zeno man even though he's a big crazy lizard he still is a really nice sweet guy so if you want to come in we're going to try to pick her up nice and gently so we're just going to take this pretty girl just like this and she's one of my tamest rock iguanas ever so right over here is this wound right here you can see right here it doesn't look like much it's definitely a little bit swollen and she's climbing up me right now up to my head because when these lizards climb up on you they kind of see you as a tree they want to go to the highest point possible so we got to get this pretty girl off just like this and I want to show you the wound right here. It's kind of healed up, but this right here has got to get opened up. They got to get some stitches, maybe even right here. But these would just be minor areas, but you can see this is definitely healed over some, but it definitely needs stitches. So we're going to take her right here and we're just going to add her into the bin. And as you can see, she's a really easy going iguana. So now that she's in, all we're going to do is we're going to close it up. We're going to latch it shut. And now that Xena is inside of the bin, guys, it's time to head to the vet and get her stitched up. Okay, so we are on the way to the vet now. We're almost there. We're going to be there in about two minutes or so. So I'm not sure if we're going to be going into the exam room. Um, they said they were going to look at the lizard. And based on that, we're either going to go into the room. We're going to be able to be there and watch everything. Or they're going to just take her to the back. And then we're going to meet with the vet afterwards, guys. I have no idea what's going on. So I'll be back with all of you once we drop the lizard off or once we're in the office and we figure out what's going on. Okay, so we made it here to the vet office and we got checked in and we were waiting on the doctor to come in. But if we open the bin up right now, you're gonna see her. She actually did really great on the car ride. She really wasn't thrashing around. So we got her wound right here, which, you know, as we touch it, it's definitely sensitive for her. She doesn't like it being touched, but she's being a really nice, sweet girl. So we're gonna keep her here in the bin until the vet comes in. What's going on in here? What All right, so we got an iguana that got, um, that got attacked by the male. He was trying to breed her and okay. you can see right here. We pick her up, she's really calm. So this is, well, she's not calm anymore. She's kind of calm. Okay. So remember the one I brought in? This uh, is his girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. So right here, it doesn't look like much, but I'll show you the pictures. It's definitely bubbled up. And, okay. Um, yeah, he got her right here. So it's just really this, this laceration here, which from yesterday, it wasn't down into the muscle at all. It was just on the skin. Okay. But now that it's kind of, you know, uh, dried up a little, it's kind of stuck. Whoop. Um, how do you want to examine her? I just put her here. Should okay. Be pretty cool. So let me pull up. Let's see. Okay. So I don't know if you think it should be stitched. I mean, it was. No. I don't think so. You don't. Not anymore. It's kind of already. It's kind of already just healed on its just own. Just heal. I will just do so many biotics like just to be safe. Beta dye and petrosin on it. And I'll apply something topically okay. just to be safe. Well, do you want to put her back in there? Sure. All right, so I'm going to load her up. We're going to get a weight in the bin. 6.5. Yep. Okay, so right now we're applying some silver cream, which is going to help with the healing process. So we're just going to put some of that on. Now that area is still kind of tender and sensitive. So you can see she's kind of tail whipping us. She definitely doesn't like us messing with it. And she should be good. Okay, so before when we were here at the vet office, we did not go over the Galapagos x-rays on the leg. So, so many people have been asking, how's the tortoise doing? What's going on with it? So, we've got the x-rays pulled up right here. 
So we're gonna go over it. So basically what I wanted to do is was obviously check for a fracture. Um, we took a bunch of x-rays and we took x-rays of both legs just to okay. compare yeah. the bones on both legs. Um, and we can see here the affected leg. It looks pretty good, yeah. no fracture. Bone seems perfectly fine. Here we have the attachment to the hip and everything looks good too. And that's it, pretty much. A bunch of different x-rays, different positions, just to be 100% safe. Yeah, get all the toes. the toes. And everything looks pretty good to me. Awesome. So we're just gonna give some painkillers, anti-inflammatories, and with that, she should be fine. Yep. Okay. Okay. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's videos on the animals. I'm so glad the Galapagos tortoise does not have a broken leg, and we are just giving him pain medication, and he is actually already starting to put some more weight on his leg, so he's going to be just fine. And I'm so glad that Xena did not have to be stitched up. I'm so thankful. So, guys, today's video was a very stressful one. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but at the end of the day, everything ended up being minor, and I'm just so thankful for that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite animal from today's video. Was it the tortoise? Was it the iguana, guys? Let me know down below. We also have merch, uh, Redland Conservation Center merch. So by purchasing merch, you're actually helping support my wildlife facility as well as wildlife conservation in the wild. I just got this photo sent to me from Nepal, and and my cameras are being used um, over in Nepal to track clouded leopards and other wild animals. So I'm th so thankful for that. So by you guys supporting me here, you guys are directly supporting conservation, which is what we're all about here. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, you want to know how the tortoise and the iguana are going to do, well guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.